Namaste. Whether Arunachala is there or not, I still feel his presence. So, I am always thinking of Arunachala. Why? Because the power of Arunachala as a holy place is just unmatched by any other holy place in the world that I've ever been to, anyway. And because he had a very direct personal influence on me. In the five years that I stayed in uh, Arunachala, in Tiruvannamalai, I made more spiritual advancement than in the whole rest of my life up to then. So I'm always thinking of Arunachala. I think of it as my home. Anyway, now we're changing the format of this channel, as I've discussed several times, from a lecture series on different, different spiritual topics to a more interactive format. And so we're going to use Zoom calls and uh, live discussions also, in-person discussions to give more interactivity to the channel. And, you know, this is really the correct style for spiritual instruction. It wasn't so easy back when we first started this channel. And I was relying on the YouTube comments to get feedback. But the YouTube comments aren't really adequate. Well, for one thing, they're not in real time. You have to wait. When the comment pops up, then you have to answer it. And there's a delay, unavoidable delay. Unless I just happen to be online at the moment someone posts a comment. So it's hard to have a conversation under those conditions. It's much easier when you can see the other person, you know, you can hear them immediately, get the feedback, and discern the mood, like that. The example is Ramana Maharshi. Ramana never delivered lectures. In fact, he used to poke fun at those who did. <laughs> because how do you know the people hearing it are getting it? The only way to know is to hear from them. What is their understanding? Or what are their doubts, confusions, questions, and so on? Then you get a very clear idea of who you're talking to. But this is only possible in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So now with the pandemic and everything, we have Zoom and other tools we can use. Uh, now there's even coming out several different tools that musicians can use to jam online in real time. Huh? Very low latency audio applications. So in conjunction with something like Zoom, you can have like a conversation as if you're sitting face to face. And this is very exciting. It's, it's very uh, stimulating for me because, you know, how many times have I complained? <laughs> I'm not getting enough feedback, people. I need to hear from you. So it's very important to me that your voice should be heard. You know, the Upanishads, those wonderful scriptures that capture the essence of the Vedas. The meaning of the word Upanishad is upa, or close, and anisha, or sit down. So Upanishad means come close to a spiritually enlightened person. Sit down. 
and discuss. If you're close, you can have a direct personal discussion, a conversation, not a lecture. So sometimes a lecture format is handy for delivering the background information or for establishing a certain context. But after that, there has to be a give and take. There has to be a two-way street. And it's been far too long on this channel that it's only been a one-way street. Uh, and maybe just a sidewalk on the side. <laughs> a little bit of feedback. So I want to hear from you. And the first thing I want to hear from you is how we should develop this channel going forward. I put up a survey on the community page. And you can respond to that survey as up to now about 14 people have responded. And they indicate a preference for these interactive conversations. So go to the page. The link is in the video description below. Uh, the channel page and the community tab. And you'll see the uh, survey right on top. Please respond. Give us your opinion. But I think I know what the result is going to be. People want to see interactivity. They want to see a conversation, a two-way talk. Uh, so this is my inclination anyway. This is really what has been shown by the great souls, as, by their example. Not that, you know, in religion, religious organizations try to discourage questions. They don't like questions. I remember my friend in Mexico was telling me, one day he was in the church. The cardinal was there, you know, the big wig, the, with the guy with the big red hat. And he was giving a talk. But this fellow, my friend, had a question. So he raised his hand. I have a question. The cardinal simply continued his talk and completely ignored him. And so my friend, being an intelligent person, realized, oh, they don't want to hear our questions. They don't care about our questions. They really don't care what we think. As long as we show up in the church and give money and like that. He says, that was the day I left Catholicism. That was the day I lost faith. And, of course, most everybody has similar experiences with religious organizations because that's their nature. They're pushing a certain dogma. So we don't want to do that. Our teaching encompasses many, many different methods and paths and philosophies and traditions. <laughs> And so the practices that we have experienced have brought us to this state where we have, we have no more questions, no more doubts. We can see directly uh, the answers to all these questions. So this is for you. This is not for me. This channel is not for me to try to get famous or rich or influential or whatever. This channel is for you so that you can clear your doubts. You can uh, ask your questions and get real answers. Not that I'm pushing any particular path. I'm not. What is good for you is what you need to hear. So give us your feedback. huh? So Upanishad is the tradition, and it was exemplified by great masters like Ramana Maharshi and others. That there has to be a conversation, there has to be a relationship. Not that one simply goes on talking into the ether. <laughs> you know, that's dogma, that's religion. But we're not about that. We're about authentic spiritual life. That means a relationship where you can get your doubts and questions answered. So, 
please respond to the survey, number one. Number two, please email me. The email address is on the About tab of the channel page. But I'll put it up here again anyway. After I put it up last time, only one or two people emailed me, and I haven't been able to get them to start uh, these conversations. The only people were uh, some teachers who are already, you know, in the public eye and like that. But there's no need to be so shy. Uh, it doesn't matter if your understanding is imperfect or incomplete or if you have doubts. Or, that's okay, all right? Everybody goes through that. I went through it. But, you know, by the grace of God, I reached a stage where I have no more doubts. And you can do that too, with the help of the people who have already transcended and who already can see the direct truth. So, it doesn't have to be recorded. Huh? It can be, if it's okay with you. It's good, because if you have a question, for sure, there's a hundred other people that have the same question. So whatever answer you get is going to help those people as well. I can't read your mind, huh? I don't have that CD. <laughs> so I have to guess what you need to hear. And maybe I guess wrong, you know? So I want to hear from you. I want you to raise your voice, raise your hand, say, hey, I have a question. I want to have a conversation with you. This is your chance to be heard, that your questions are important, that in fact, they feed the whole process of spiritual uh, transmission, which is summed up in the word Upanishad. Come close, sit down, let's talk. Aum Tatsat, Aum Shakti Aum.